welcome everybody here. Uh, this morning's an extremely special event. Uh, and uh, we've still got one other uh, media person that's going to be coming, but I think we've got to get going. We've got to get that facts to Kansas State. And uh, again, I'm Jim Struve, Activities Director here at Shellsburg. Uh, just, just a couple uh, statements, and I'm going to turn it over to Coach. Uh, I've known Drew for quite a while. I had the opportunity to uh, coach him in some basketball and a little bit of football growing up. Uh, and again, he's extremely gifted. And, uh, but, but I think the thing that I, I would like to really express is that not only is he gifted uh, athletically, but uh, he's demonstrated you know, a lot of leadership uh, characteristics of FFA around our school. Uh, but again, I, you know, one thing that I saw about him this year that, that really stood out even more about his character is that um, you know, he did, demonstrated some great skills on the football field, but he went out for basketball this year. And uh, hadn't been out for basketball for several years. And, uh, you know, I, I watched him over there on the sidelines. I watched the little things. Uh, he's one of the first guys that is there to always congratulate his teammates. A, a, a young man has got a Division I scholarship for football, and maybe not playing as many minutes as, you know, everyone would like, but checked his ego at the door. He's there for his team. And, and that really means a lot. Uh, and a lot of other people see that as well. So I want to tip my cap to you, Drew. And uh, that ha doesn't happen by chance, Todd and Denise. Uh, I mean, you, you taught not only um, Drew, but the rest of your family, your kids, you know, work ethic and <laughs> high character and uh, really appreciation of your faith. So, Job well done. So I'll turn it over to Coach Long. Thanks, Coach Shu, and thank you for being here. Uh, this is a unique situation. Not, not since the 1950s have we had uh, a young man represent Shelter football and at the next level in Division One football. I think Curly Mann was the last guy to sign a scholarship uh, with the University of Iowa, so it's been a long time coming. Uh, it is a unique day. Uh, I don't know how much you know about it, but uh, it's National Signing Day. That means every Division One football program in the country. Uh, you know, I've been, I've seen both sides of the fence. There's no college coaches that can go out on the road today. Everybody's got to be in, and they're all nestled around a table. And their biggest asset today is a fax machine, and they're hoping, they're praying that uh, the guys that they offered are going to come through, sign their letters, and, and then uh, release them to the media. Uh, so it is a, a very significant uh, event. And uh, you're one of the very few elite people in the country today, Drew. Uh, ESPN will have a, a list of all those guys, and heck, who knows, your name might show up on it, which, uh, you know, is, is, is quite a deal. But, uh, you know, the coaches that are here uh, and, and parents, you know, Drew is, I like when good things happen to good people. And uh, obviously, Drew is a guy that, that has got some natural size and ability, and uh, probably didn't have to, but he did anyway. He worked hard, didn't have to work hard, but he did. You know, in the last four years, Coach May and, and the other coaches here that, that did some things in the morning, uh, everybody in this room, I want you to know that, that, that he was our top attender through the whole four years. Um, you know, weight room every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, he's always there. If he's not, he has, has an excellent excuse why. He's, he's active in FFA. Uh, I just want to say, Drew, I'm very proud of you, not, not just for your football sense, but uh, what you've done academically, being involved in many activities, and uh, really kind of setting the tone of what I see a Viking as being. A uh, good character kid, and uh, Todd and Denise, I can't imagine how you're feeling today. We get a very, very short time with our kids, uh, and then they fly away, and his accomplishments like that, I can't imagine how proud you guys are. Uh, I know there's plenty of coaches that have worked with you, Drew, that probably like to congratulate you today, administrators. Anybody like to say a few words? Go right ahead before we do the sign. Thanks. 
set a tone uh, when Jim came here to coach, and Drew was a, as I say, a little freshman, but he was a little freshman, about 6'1", about 255, 265, and uh, he just fit right in with those guys. He took him under his wing, under their wing, and before, before anybody knew it, he basically was competing with those guys, and actually were pretty high levels. He was a district qualifying wrestler, and student was as strong as he did. Warren played football in college, you were right in there. And then the next year, when you were a junior, um, you know, we worked all year round. You know, three days a week in the morning, we were until we're working on your skills and stuff. I'm sure you remember those well. And uh, all of a sudden, you're a junior, and you kind of popped up on people's radar. And, uh, you know, last year, I got to tell you that in the spring, I had some, I had some things that were kind of rough uh, going personally. And uh, Drew had a, uh, there was a, Role model banquet, and uh, Drew actually invited me to come in and be his, be his guy. And uh, you know that that letter is hanging up in my new classroom that I have. It really helped me through some things. And realize you know sometimes you go through hard things to learn things. And uh, just want you to know that not only young people are watching you, but the old people are as well. So, so yeah. Well, I just like to say real quick that uh, I was. Lucky to be able to coach Drew in his sophomore, and then last year, as his junior year, I, uh, for professional reasons, took that particular year off, and then was able to come back again this year and coach him. And uh, I knew as a sophomore, I even told his dad one day, that he's destined for sitting right here. And, uh, you know, he, he had the, the potential, he had the promise, and he worked hard to fulfill it. So not everybody does that. A lot of people have the potential, Drew is taking it. <coughs> All right. Uh, what's going to take place now? Drew's going to sign his letter. That letter needs to be faxed again uh, to, the, to Kansas State. So, uh, a significant signature, one that changes young men's lives. And uh, Drew, whenever you're ready, when he's here. time here in Benton? Oh, playing on Friday nights with, with my brothers. I mean, that's playing, playing for your teammates. I mean, there's nothing better than Friday nights. Thank you, George. Thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love playing with these guys, growing up with them, played with them since I was, you know, five and six. And just, that's what I'm going to miss is, is those relationships. I uh, got a full ride. Yeah, it's quite an accomplishment. Uh, were there any other decisions or factors that influenced your decision in signing with K-State today? I mean, uh, they're just 
they were the best fit for me. I mean, in terms of they had the school I want. I mean, they have a, a historic football program with, with a historic coach. Uh, and, I mean, they're, they're going to do big things in the next couple of years. So, I mean, that was a that was big, big deal for me. Uh, playing at the next level, what do you look to bring to K-State, your team, and your teammates? Well, I'm just going to try and do what I can, help the team win. I mean, bring a positive attitude and a, a good work ethic. I just want to do what I can to help everybody.